What's up, everybody? How are you doing? This is Jimmy McNally, and this is just another tip of a week, the real estate edition, in this case, Moxie edition. And what I'm going to show you real quick is how to start a campaign um, to get it out to all the people that are in your database. Now, for this case, for this purpose, we are going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to set up um, the Fine Homes and Estates uh, C21 campaign that they have. But this is going to be very, this is similar to any other campaign that you want to start running. You're going to log, go ahead and log into Moxie and we're going to get to Moxie Engage and go to click here where it says campaigns. Now, when you get to campaigns, you're going to see on the top right hand side uh, where it says add from library. But just ensure that you are on my campaigns. As you can see, there's eblast, neighborhood news, listing announcements and your emails. In this case, we want to go over to the top right and click add from library because we need to pull in that um, campaign that we want to run and put it actually into our system so we can start running it out. As you can see here on the left hand side, you're going to see a ton of different campaigns that are available. In this case, you see anything from a Century 21 will be here and then obviously anything that your broker may actually make will be in this um, be in this portion too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use this Fine Homes and Estates uh, e-newsletter. Uh, e now, one of the first things you could do is click preview if you'd like, just so you can see what all these emails are, what when they're actually going out. You can see all of those things right here um, to make sure that is definitely the campaign that you want. Um, and then what you're going to do is you just want to click on the right here where it says add to campaigns. Now, we're going to wait here a second until you see this green box that pops up on the top right and that means that that has been pulled into your campaigns and you can now set it up so let's go ahead and close that out and it brings us right back to our campaigns and you can see right here on the top um, this is the campaign that i just brought in now you can see i have a copy of it because i actually have it on here twice um, but i have not actually set this up and sent it out yet so Let's go ahead and get this set up so we can start sending this out on the 5th of every month for the fine homes and estates. So we're going to click on the campaign that we would like to set up. You're going to notice the first thing we're going to need to do here is we're going to want to set this up. Now, it's already done and ready for you. So all we're going to need to do in the setup for portion is add recipients. In this case, you can click on add recipients. And you will see all of your people will populate on the right. Now, the nice option here is you can also click on groups. And by clicking on groups, I have the capability of sending it to every single one of my clients that have um, not unsubscribed and have their email. Or I can actually set it up for groups. So in this case, I'm going to set it up for these managers. Um, once we get those in there, you'll see that I have a list of everybody here. This could take some time, especially if you set it up for a lot of people. It might take a few minutes until you can get this box here where it says save turns blue. We're going to go ahead and click that and save that. Now, as you can see, this is the campaign that I have selected. Um, you can always preview it. In this case on a campaign, you can usually edit the schedule. So if you don't like it going out on the 5th, you can change whatever you'd like on the time frame, but the campaign itself, you cannot change only the times that it goes out. So just make sure you, you pay attention to that there. Next up, when you see that this little blue box up here in the top right turns blue, that means we can run this campaign. Now it could take a little bit of time before you can do it because again, if you have a thousand people that you're setting up on a campaign at one time, it's going to take a few minutes to populate everything in there until this turns blue. So give this some time. Um, before you go and run it. Once that is blue and you're comfortable with who you're sending it to, we're going to go ahead and click run campaign. Now, this will also take a couple seconds. I've seen it take as long as 30 to 40 seconds if I am sending out to my entire database, um, you know, at one time or setting it up. So all you want to do is just let it sit here. And when it is set up and ready to go and the campaign's running, this will actually bring us back to our campaign page like it did right here. When I get back to this home page, you can click over here where it says running so you can separate all the campaigns and you will see here we have the fine homes in the state is actually sunk and it is running. And the more and the longer I let this sit, it will actually tell me how many people I have set up for this campaign. It will tell me if anybody's opened it and anybody's unsubscribed. I can actually click on it and it will show me who the last people that actually opened it up and take a look at, which is pretty cool. Side note, if you set up a campaign for a specific group, when you add that client or that person to your, that group, it will automatically put them in to the campaign that you already have running. 
So if you're running a buyer campaign or a seller campaign and you push them into that group, those people will automatically get added to that campaign and save you a ton of time of having to go through what we did here. So that is your tip of the week. And if you need anything, as always, let me know. Uh, we did take time to show you how to get into Moxie Engage, go to campaigns and get it, get one started and rocking and rolling. Thank you and have a good one.